this is our Lake Michigan rock collection, sorted and shared with a friend who's interested in collecting rocks and stones. Leland Blue Slag Glass is a unique material that was a byproduct of the short-lived days of smelting iron ore in Northwest Michigan. The Upper Peninsula Masabi Iron Ranges supplied the ore, a high-grade charcoal made only from beech and maple combined with local limestone and flux reduced the iron ore to pig iron, creating a unique foundry glass. Smelting began in 1875 and by 1900 had ceased due to lack of hardwood. The byproduct was dumped into Lake Michigan and shows up from time to time on the beaches from Leland to Traverse City, Michigan and along the coastline. Since Lake Michigan is a large body of water, the slag can travel and is found along the coasts of Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana beaches as well. Sometimes the slag blends with natural rocks and stones of the lake. The color of slag ranges from deep blue, light blue, to purple, black, green, and gray. Often small pieces of iron-like material Rusted brown and red colors can also be seen in these stones. Here you can see some snail shells as well as zebra mussel and a variety of glass picked along the coastline. Beach glass are pieces softened by time spent in the water. On the right side, you will notice some coral and fossilized pieces. Do you notice that little circle piece above the red marble and quartz mix? That is known as a crinoid. Crinoids were sea lilies, also known as Indian beads, from the Paleozoic period, which was between 540 and 245 million years ago. These marine invertebrate lived during the time of the dinosaurs, deep in Lake Michigan. They were fixed to the lake bottom by a stalk, which resembles a plant. This is stink stone. It is a cream color stone with small holes inside of it known as vesticulars. And do you notice that special treat here up on top? That's right. That bluish stone on the right side is a Leland blue. Part of putting this collection of pictures together was to have some fun in sorting the variety of stones so we can learn their names and types. Can you see the crinoid? The circle inside the cream stone and also the dents of possibly spine or bone from an invertebrate? 
in this almost oval stone with the gray bits in it, you can see remains of invertebrae and marine life, a small crinoid in a hooked piece of stone, and teeny tiny crinoids in that darker brown stone next to the marble. These are all different types of species of marine life, leftover remnants stuck in the stone from the dinosaur period. This beautiful red stone is called red jasper. It is a beautiful bright red color and can be found all along the coastline of Michigan. Often when jasper is mixed with limestone, it's called a pudding stone. Pudding stone is a type of sedimentary rock which first formed in the river channels. During the Ice Age, pudding stones were pushed down through eastern Michigan from Ontario, Canada by the glaciers, finally arriving in the Lake Michigan formation. Compact limestone is composed of primarily tightly packed calcium carbonate derived from the remains of marine organisms. It varies in color from white, yellowish, pink, red, gray, or even black, depending on the presence of other materials. It has a very fine texture and is denser than other types of limestone. Michigan pudding stone is a conglomerate of primarily the rocks and stones or pebbles. We used these websites to identify different stones and rocks. I hope you enjoyed our rock collection as much as we enjoyed sharing it. Thumbs up, emoji face, hearts,